I think I can try and sort out my interior of the cargo bay now. Crane is good enough, and I think if I'm lifting the roof in here, then the that helps with the crane. One thing I want to check is where the where the ramp comes up to. So it is about the same height as the railing. I wonder if it should be the same height as the top of the door. The other thing, if I don't move the door, like if I don't make it higher, then maybe I should make this rear deck section longer out the back. The only thing I'm really concerned about is like if I come up this ramp too fast, then one of the ARVs is gonna bonk along the top. So as long as I'm not going real fast, it's not an issue. So I'm gonna put a floor in here. Oh, was I gonna use belts? Belt? Uh, battle cannon, I think. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is not going to line up very well. Uh, I'm almost definitely gonna have to redo all those belts. So here it's like, maybe, maybe it should come out more. Oh, wait a minute. I wanted to put stairs in here. If I use stairs, then I can't do any like angled rails. I mean, yeah, I would have to tilt a pipe if I wanted to maintain a certain look. Do I go with rails? Yeah, I, I think I have to not use pipes for this. For everything to make sense and feel the same, it'd be better to use rails so that it matches the outside. And then I guess here I can do a corner, so that's good. And I think what I'm going to do is put a door in here. So there'll be this door that's in the door, but then there'll be a door in the wall. All this thing with the uh, helm will be gone. We might be able to move that now as well. I think the door probably should be... It would be safer from a health and safety perspective if it was below the rails or below the platform so that nothing falls over the edge and bonks you then we do a little rail so that you can't just like come in and turn straight into the path of the door i wonder if i should spin the staircase around as well now nah, that would be stupid it should just be like that one two three four five and then this is six this wall needs to move this wall here probably needs to move as well So now I've got to do something about hiding this track. It is going to be going straight up and down, so I think I should do that. There's no pivots along the side, right? The ones that are here will be going straight. And if I was really worried about it, I could do wedges. Put the wedge like that, so any movement is sort of in an area that can clip. I'll try it first with just a straight wall because that makes me feel a bit better and then up here that's probably just going to be straight as well just to hide everything that's in there and then on this side it's the same thing but i'll have to cover up more and above and above so oh, i wonder if because of that i can like put in a little hmm, wouldn't that be like make way more sense for where the door is? One, two, three, four, five. It's all it's all lined up. Just run the rail right up to the wall, I think. Unless, how wide is this? That's five. So this could be five as well, and it would help hide some of that, I suppose. And then we just have this piece where it's like not not quite right I'm gonna change uh, the color of this have I saved this color oh, I don't care I'm gonna change the color. it's so hard to see that's better that's better I, I don't think the belts are staying because if I'm having all these widened sections probably doesn't make any sense but now I think the staircase should come back to here this will either be really good or really bad. I think that's really bad. I wonder how much of this wall I can get rid of. I'm just trying this. We'll go on an angle here. Is 
that good? Is that good? I think I like it. I think it's good. Yeah, yeah. Why not? So do I need this platform up the other side, this walkway? It cuts a little bit into where the door is. Do, 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 do. Let's remove it all. And then in here, I'm going to bring this wall in. Chop this one out. And then up here, we'll have another door. <laughs> and I guess I'll do an identical door below. And now this is supposed to be where the engine goes. It's not a whole bunch of space. Oh dear, let me, uh, I've nearly lost my circle. What was I doing? I'm considering cutting here. If the helicopter has a hard time landing on it, then I might do that now. See, I'm having issues, I think, like, my circle's pretty small, my helipad's not very long, so I probably need to make the whole top section longer anyway. That'd be my guess. Like, apparently I've only got two blades now as well. Okay, so I think what I'll be doing is cutting right through here. So this is mainly so that I can fit the engine. Let's see if I can grab, perfect, mostly perfect. Okay, cut all this. So just on the edge of the helipad. We're gonna save this as carrier cat rear section. So what I'll do is I'll cut it into a rear and front and if I need to a middle section as well. All these rail bits over here go the same way. Let's just extend it by however much I think I need for an engine room. So an engine room is probably going to be five of these. And I'm going to pull the helipad forwards as well. 115 block long helipad. Half of 115 is going to be 64? What? 57. Oh dear, that should be way better for landing helicopters on. So this is where, whatever you guys, if anyone wants to build something for the carrier cat, this is probably where it would end up, in the middle. See, it would be quite easy to just take someone else's thing and push it into the middle. All right, so first we need to sort out like hallways. Hallways. I think the bottom is going to be one, two, three, four. It's weird how I've decided to do this with like the width of these rails. This should be, oh, that's right, hey, it should be three. All the walkways are three, but the, the walls get an extra one. So hallways should be five like that and there's no rail there i don't know i think it is time to add in a staircase then like one that can go between all the floors because we need to get something down here as well so what if you go through this door and then okay i'm just going to chuck some stairs in and see what happens one two three four five so that would let you go from the top down and then another one here to go down another floor and this is like maintenance level and then probably we'll just put a wall in here or a floor and then you have another crawl space so crawl space up here crawl space down there it's good to have more of those i suppose you need a corner like this terminate the wall and then there needs to be at least three so basically the way i'm doing it is that it's a three wide walking space with 
optional one block on every side so that if I want to put like rails and pipes, I guess things like fire extinguishers and paintings and decorative stuff on the walls can also go in there. But that's what I've done up here as well, where we have this one block, then three, and then where the rail goes. And then I'm going to have another door. Uh, 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 huh. It's a really tall hallway, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whatever. Dun 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 Hidden room maybe. And then I need the rail to wrap around so that you don't fall down side here. And then uh where am I? Let me go one, two, three, the rail and the wall. Let me copy this door up here, down here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, that's what I want. I might make this piece push through a little bit though, because I want to have another walkway. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Magic room, magic room. Okay, I don't really know what this upper piece is doing here, to be honest. It's going through though, it's going through. I guess if there's like another room somewhere that's gonna connect off into it. Same with that bottom one. Get rid of this. Uh, the roof in here probably needs to stay all the way up. Ceiling height needs to remain the same. And then the door goes, I want it to go the other way. That's very strange. Very strange how that worked, how that worked out. I'm following most of my rules. Always should be five wide so that you can have pipes and rails on the sides. <laughs> I feel like I need to move the steers back so that these two bits of rail can connect in and then leave all the interior stuff open. All the interior walkway open. But then down here it's and this is the engine room engine what kind of engine should i have people have been saying it'd be good to get a nuclear engine i mean that's that's the point right we're going nuclear i think nuclear 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 control rod fuel rod the thing about nuclear it seems like if you despawn your vehicle take it back to the workbench you, you lose all your nuclear fuel and you have to go and get more like it doesn't refund you this part so it costs um i think it's probably a fuel rod right it costs uranium to spawn this but you don't get that uranium back and you don't get one of these parts back you just have to get more uranium so i'm basically building a steam engine the uranium part doesn't really need to be too big right because if it's steam we just need boilers we create steam and then we're gonna to have to send it into pistons. Oh, I didn't think about this. I don't really want pistons. Oh, pistons. That's so massive. Turbines are no good. More pistons is gonna be more torque. <laughs> I didn't want to do this. I'm gonna to have to go and figure out how to do steam now. Steam in, steam in, steam in. Okay, these are all steam in. Do you think I should bother with valves? I don't think so. I think the whole timing valve thing doesn't make any sense. How do I make steam? I need a boiler, right? I only need one boiler, like per, I'm gonna have two engines, two totally separate loops this time. Clifford was like two banks of pistons, two boilers, but one heat source. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't do that. The thing is I want more steam, more steam. Do I need more steam or do I need more pressure or do I put more water into the boiler to make more steam? Then I would only need one boiler. What other things do you need? You need a condenser, right? Because I need to... Oh, and I need the thing, the nuclear part. Let's get the old paintbrush out. Get some yellow. Uh, do it in symmetry. So I'm going to paint like on the floor where I think walkways should go. So we've got a five by five grid that represents the walkway above. I wonder if I do like a, a dashed line. How much does nuclear stuff weigh? 80, 80... It's all kind of heavy. Should be able to balance it out though pretty easily, I reckon. 
if I flip it, shoo, then I still need to bring it back so that it misses the rails, because we will have rails down here. So walkway, rail, piston. I like being able to see the moving parts on pistons, so that's so many though. That's got to be too many, right? That's, that's a bit better. So I'm thinking of using the side space as where the nuclear part is because then on the other side I'm going to have some kind of equipment or machinery like generators and things that should like rebalance it plus the ramp. The ramp is on this side on the, on the right so if we put all the engine stuff on the left we'll start leveling out from the imbalance we already have. And this then puts my walkways right where you can see all the interesting moving stuff. No, they don't line up. What do I do? There's only one thing to do. I used to think Steam was so neat and interesting and then they like made it not. When it doesn't work, make it asymmetrical. I will not be surprised when nothing fits because like one rail somewhere over in this stairway hallway contraption is off by a couple blocks and all of this has to move which then means all of these walkways have to move and then all of the engine has to move gonna happen gonna happen i think what i'll do on this side is probably put a wall through there and then have access to this room from inside the hallway who knows what's going in there but I think that's the right way to do that. And then the walkway I think should probably... Oh! I should do this. I should definitely do this. Ooh. Ooh. I think I just have the rail go the whole way around, right? But then up here is where the generators are. Yes. Down here is all like nuclear and steam and then the condensers can go in this section here. And then up here we can have generators, like the big ones, and make them look real interesting. Three big ones I reckon, so each set of pistons gets its own generator. And I'll try and set every piston to have a condenser. And then yeah, nuclear rods and stuff in here, it'll be lying down. Like, I don't know if, how far back this thing needs to come. We could probably chop it somewhere. Push it all in a little bit. Or even down here, like, there could just be a random wall that ends the section that you can walk around in and there. In under there. And maybe there could be a, like, a storage cupboard or something with some boxes and things in it. I've also been thinking about, like, how these tracks work. I think I've got three. Uh, a gap of three. One, two, three. Because do I really need tracks running the whole way through? What I could do instead is wedge this down a little bit. Mm, maybe not even not even do that. Let's do this. I was gonna bring it back up, so maybe I can just maybe I can just bring it back up anyway like that. And then that gives me some clearance for like not bottoming out if I'm on land. I had thought like I basically just made wheels out of the tracks so maybe I should just put wheels that can deploy down and that way I could have them the whole way along. I kind of wanted it to do like a like a that and then a, like a like a this and then like a that and then like a this kind of thing. Maybe even bring this down again so that it's now in line with the tracks. And bring this across seven maybe one two three four five six seven and then go up and it probably doesn't even need to go up that much something like that i don't know i don't know i'll think about it but weird now that i've done it but so let's see i think these were copied weren't they steam in steam out steam out this one on the far side here give that a flip I actually might place all new ones. If you remember on Clifford, there was a point where they were doing like negative RPS and it was just like because they were placed backwards or they were because they were placed in a mirror mode. So now they're all placed. So the steam out is going into the floor. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I should just make it once and copy the whole thing. 
So I do a set of condensers, like a, a row of condensers below it. It's this fluid A, that's coolant. So this is the thing that needs to... I can just run all the steam together though, can't I? Just combine it all together. I mean, it'd be better if, I, if everything had its own condenser, wouldn't it? I remember people been saying like, Clifford's been having issues with how it's condensing and that's got a whole lot of separate condensers. So what if I combine them all back and then instead of a massive amount of condensers, what if I just do one condenser? What if I just do one? One per row of things? Why am I using a pump? Why am I using an electric pump? Why am I using an electric pump? Why don't I use an impeller? Which way? That's the out, which kind of sucks. So I'm gonna run it like that. RPS will come up. Yeah, this makes sense. So because an impeller won't stop steam from going through if it's just sitting there, if it's not going any speed, but it doesn't make any noise or it doesn't make a yucky noise, it makes a soft whir. And then on the out, we can do the same. And that's so nice, so lovely that it just connects directly like that. That'll need to go up into, or back into here, I guess. Yeah, water fluid out needs to go back up and then they'll all connect and come across here and go into the nuclear thingamajig. Zoo! And then I'm gonna use heat sinks. I was thinking I could just put them on the bottom like this. It'd be really cool if you could like direct airflow over the heat sink. So like if you did a little thing like this and then like, you know, make a little, little tunnel and then put a wedge like this. Yes. Doesn't that look cool? So it's like forcing air up there. <laughs> that's kind of cool I don't like I'm pretty sure this does nothing there is no reason for this but it looks cool I might need to actually like move it back you know like have it wedge near the end rather than at the front only on the outside this is one of those useless things that is going to impact performance a lot <laughs> that's cool though I wonder if I can make it bigger like a a wider hold on let's go down to twos it's like a big big hole on the front air pressure going to small hole and then it just falls out the back so i'll use probably small impellers for this one fluid out so this will need to be fluid in which means this one's got to go like that fluid out fluid in yep nice and then somehow all of these need to connect back to the RPS output of the pistons, which I'll use an enclosed pipe. Drop that down. And then I have to do the same on the back. I don't know if it's still the case, but apparently you get more power when you connect both ends, which makes some sense. This pipe here goes to nowhere so that can be swapped around so that's output there and then it'll need to carry on because it's got to go up to the generator oh i could put a i could put a pipe across like that but that seems kind of stupid it'll go across find a wall and then go up and so what it can do is it can tee off go into a bunch of gearboxes here all right, so it crosses, then these go into three to ones. Then we pick it back up in a normal pipe. And we run it. This is kind of messy though. I guess this is the downside of impellers, is having to pipe everything. I could move this impeller over here, which I think I'll do. All that's got to do is flip backwards, and then its pipe just needs to like that okay impellers heat sink condenser hooked up everything's good there and then the pipe comes off and it'll need to come back quite away i think i don't know where the wall is going 
there will be a wall though. So that's the out way. And then the in way, I guess it runs, it'll go down and then along, and then we'll send the steam in this direction towards the back. Yeah, that'll work. So let's copy all of this. Oh, I don't need the rails though. I've got to be a bit careful about what I'm copying here. Uh, what is this pipe? Where is this pipe going? Wow, where is that pipe going? Just up into nowhere? What is that? Pumping... Water? Pumping water out? Water out. Water back to the boiler on the other side. Steam comes in, goes up, goes out, goes into the condenser. I wonder if I can run it. Yeah, I might be able to send that back. So then what will end up happening is there's like a steam and a water line right next to each other running around. Oh yeah, because it can just go on the floor though. It'll just go on the floor and come back over to here. That's fine. That's fine. The thing is I need to make sure, like I don't want it to do too many bends because that can slow things down. And finally we can figure out what numbers I need here. So I've got... Uh, Five plus one, one, two, three, four, five. One divided by five is 0.2. So we'll start on zero, then go to positive 0.2, then negative 0.2, then positive 0.4, and then negative 0.4. And I will do the one on the far side the same. So it goes into positive first, then negative. But then the middle one I'm going to start at the other end so this will be zero this one will be positive two so this is positive four this is positive two this is negative two positive four negative four and I'm doing that because when they're all moving I don't want them all to be rotating and like synchronized I want them to look like they're they're kind of moving together, but they're not all the same. I think that'll look the best. And then I can put a little hat on here. Little hat, little hat, little hat. So that, that all worked out, not too bad. I've got these six scoops. I might end up putting like electric radiators in here or something. Oh no. Oh no, all my impellers. Oh damn, I'm not good at this. Um, this was the out, right? Then the in, the in. That is the in. Uh, all the outputs are split. Or should all the outputs be split, or should they all be combined? What I need is for this. That is out, which means it connects into this. Which means the RPS should be on the other side. But then this is the in. Let's get rid of that. I go do a little bit of a wiggle. Do a little wiggle here. Come on, come on. Now I should be able to run them all like this and connect them directly there on the end of that pipe. So the RPS is coming in on the side. Then the fluid in will come down and we just need a straight pipe across there. That was this one, right? Yeah. Phew. Okay, so cooling, condenser cooling is basically sorted. I better change this one so that it's the same as the other ones. Big scoops, nuclear engine will be going in. Um, I better figure that out because it's got to fit in here. Big helipad, man. I'm supposed to be finishing, but I want to keep painting. <laughs> Let me do the painting. Huh? Why is that different? How how long is this? I'm gonna go with like more towards the back through the middle there. So that is twenty-seven. Okay, okay, I've gotta go, I've gotta go. No, that's enough. I'll do the helipad some other day. So yeah, there is the beginnings of the engine. We've stretched out the 
rear section so now i'm definitely going for a modified workbench and add-on vehicle but i think that's more of what i want you know no compromising i'm just going to build the thing i want to build i think the door on the back is good uh, i need to put some windows in that i like how this uh, walkway with the angle is working the door into here this is a bit suspicious it'll probably change the walkways and the engine I think that's all really cool and then we'll have three big generator things and then they will run electric motors which will control all the tracks and the fluid jets and then in front of this on the front section we'll have crew quarters and the bridge and stuff and that'll all be up there so it's only really got a, a like a it's only really gotten like 30 blocks longer or something it's not too much and we've got so much space for activities <laughs> look at these scoops <laughs> that's so cool they look sick they actually look really cool <laughs> you can see the vents and stuff in there all right thanks for watching i'll see you later